What's up guys, I'm Taraborn, back on the Unity server for my second episode. I'm here at Castle Taraborn, uh, in episode one we made some upgrades to it, which I think went really well, uh, really proud of how they came out, and I'm really looking forward to what we're going to get up to in today's episode. Now, if you did see last episode, you may remember some issues I had with my bees. They kept coming into my castle and horror, and there we just saw one. Now, that is because I have some good news about the bees. But they kept just hovering at the windows. They were just hanging around, just being weird. And I didn't like it at all. But then my my two beehives just stopped producing any honey at all. I AFK'd here overnight a few times. Nothing was happening. So I went and looked. I discovered this. Uh, Here's one bee, and here are two more. I have no idea what they're doing up here. There are no flowers immediately outside. I don't understand why they can't get through this uh, hatch. If they manage to get up here, they should be able to get down again. What if I just... Oh, that wasn't meant to happen. What if I just do this? And then... Where'd it go? Oh, another Vexor sign. He's all the way, he, all the way at the top. If I just break this one as well, I can get that in a minute. Can he go down? I don't have any flowers on me. No, I don't know. What I'm going to do instead is just... Ah! He just pushed me out of a window. I just broke in for a wall. Don't tell the owner. Right, let's get the other two out. I mean, they're just... Just looking at that window. When we could be going through this other one. That's only three of them, and I've got no idea where any of the rest are. And they all came from the same hive. I have no idea where these bees have gone. Uh, I think it's just safe to assume that they are dead. They are, you know, they, they have expired. They have gone to meet their maker. They are ex-bees. They have ceased to be. So I think at some point I'm going to need to uh, move these two hives um, away from my castle a bit just to give them a bit more room to not get in the way or get trapped in there somehow. Uh, and then I'll breed up some more bees to in inhabit this hive. Um, in the meantime, I've got some ideas on what I want to do today. So I've been thinking about my gear. Uh, I've been rather lazy of late. I have been sticking with Diamond. Uh, I have not gone and got Neverite yet. However, I think it's about time. So I need to go and get myself some Neverite. And I'm just going to count up how much I actually will need. So if this is all of the uh, tools I'm going to want to upgrade, and then we've got my armor. This is what we're looking at. So I'm going to need uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 bits of Neverite, which needs four scraps of uh, ancient uh, scraps of Neverite uh, ore. So four times 12 um, ancient debris. That's quite a lot. Now, I'm going to be using the bed method. Uh, you should be familiar with a bed method for mining out ancient debris, but uh, it does require a lot of wool. So, if I take a look down into my basement, uh, doesn't look like much right now, but if we come over here, we can uh, rotate these two uh, swords in their invisible item frames, uh, part of a vanilla tweaks uh, data pack. Flick this switch that gets revealed, and here we have the hidden staircase. I am not a very good redstoner. 
the staircase I definitely could not do. I understand the parts that go into it, how they put them all together, the timing, uh, compactness. That is beyond me. So I'll put a link to the description on how that is made below. And I also used Mumbo Jumbo's video on uh, item frame combination locks. Uh, I did have to change it up a little bit, moving things around the central location where I've got this, these moving parts and the connection to the stairs. But I don't really keep it shut all that much. Mostly uh, I thought it would be a fun little project. But uh, if we come down here, this is my basement where I have my wall farm. And I've got all 16 colours. I've got two sheep of each uh, and two more on top of that for the uh, four grayscale colours. Which means I have quite a lot of wool. Not quite so much for the colours um, as the dark ones. But that's pretty good. And that's going to supply me as I have to go out and get a ridiculous amount of ancient debris and just while we're down here and i'm showing you off my uh, basement in here we have a cocoa farm all i do is push this button the two sets of logs get pushed forwards they come back and i just replant it all and i'm going to wait for that to grow fully before setting that off and i've also got entrances on either side so i can uh, double how much i'm actually getting from that well, that's the basement but oh actually in here uh this is going to become a little storage room because i'm going to try and put in a bunch of farms up here as well uh just to make more use of this space rather than just leaving it empty so i'm gonna sort out my gear for going on this expedition and i've actually decided i want blast protection or a combination of blast and fire protection i've already got uh two bits of armor with fire protection and i'm going to get mending on these as well i think and maybe uh oh what's it called frost walker i've actually got a frost walker book somewhere and then i'm going to go and get myself some blast protection chest plate and leggings so i'm going to go do that now and i will see you in a bit so I'm here in Minerva. I have mined down to my level 15. I've changed into my blast protection and fire protection armor. I've got myself a totem of them dying, and I've crafted up a few uh, beds, as you can see here. Now, the method I found to be most effective is dig out some distance away put down the bed and then block it off with a bit of uh, blackstone this is a really good uh, blast protection block uh, very very high blast resistance so I took no damage just a minor bit of knockback that's actually a lot better when I've done this without blast protection but even then this stuff really does reduce how much damage you take so, I was really hoping I would be really lucky and come across a piece of ancient debris after doing that. But it seems fate did not want to uh, give me that. So, I'm going to just start mining, I guess, and we'll see how it goes. I shall get back to you when I find my first bit of never right well we say uh, fate didn't decide to uh, grant me a bit of ancient debris on my first attempt but on my second attempt it gave me two maybe more we'll see what happens when I uh, dig it out but I am very happy with this result first bit of uh, ancient debris on this server. I am really, really happy with this.
really good news. I am at one final bit of ancient debris. That's all I need. I miscounted earlier when I said 48. I needed 52 because I want to do a chest plate as well. I just found one over here. And look what we have just as I was digging out to blow up some more. So let's uh, pick this up, see if there's any more in there. Don't want to waste anything. And I am going to uh, head back, start smelting this up, start sorting out my uh, equipment. Well, I can't believe I did that, but I didn't actually hit record when I uh, turned all my gear into Neverite. However, I'm very happy with the result. So, oh well, I guess. So I finally have some Neverite. Got a decent amount of Neverite gear. Got some of most of my tools. And I am really happy with how this has all turned out. Now, why is it I wanted Neverite so badly? Well, if you remember last week, I mentioned a raid happened in Restarterville. Out of the four of us, I was the only one rocking diamond armor still up in uh, Restarterville. And this was before we were allowed to travel between different parts of the server back to the mainland where people had sets of Neverite. So this is why I decided I really needed Neverite. I was the last one to do it. Well, probably not the last one, but one of the last ones to do it, particularly out of that group. And it got a bit hairy for me. So let's go back in time and see what happened during that raid. Here they come. Okay, they're all back. Yeah, they got a ravager with them today. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you down. Oh, no, not the horse, not the horse. Ah. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, rip. Oh, that was my fault. I am very sorry to whoever's horse that oh, was. I'm pretty sure I hit him first. Uh, uh, well, so, so, someone just set me on so yeah, someone just set me on fire, so who cares? The spectral arrows are really useful, actually. It helps us see where uh, bad guys are. Yeah. That's why I brought them. I'm, oh, see, now I know where you are. Have you, <laughs> oh, what is... Okay, that Whoopsie. was Whoopsie, sorry. Oh, they're by Wicked's house. They're right at Wicked's house. Oh, yep, seen a Ravager. Oh, I hear. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone, that's where Terraborn is. <laughs> For the second time. <laughs> And that's just, ravaged just, down. Well, it's important we don't lose him, you know, right? Yeah, of course. Know where he is at oh, all let's time. get this guy. Ooh, hey, so, so, have I received Hello. some, uh... Help. I'm stuck in something somewhere. Oh, I, I need... Oh, 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 I am low health. I am low health. Someone, someone... Yep. Oh, I don't want to hit you. Oh, yeah, it's you okay. It's okay. Hey, Wicked. Hi. Nice of you to join us. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the party. Look, all I did was fly on over to my house, and it's like raid, and I'm like, what? No. <laughs> you killed bad guy. Oh, they're on your roof, Wicked. Is that where oh they are? Oh, my God. They're all on the roof. <laughs> I'll knock him off for you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just got a ding from hitting you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh. I'm in a hole. Flight free rockets hole. are really not a good idea on this. <laughs> They're always a good idea. Off. You know, there's only about seven Vex up there on top of the roof. Yeah, yeah. Ow. I like the butterfly. <laughs> Oh, holy moly. Oh, is that the shield, butterfly? No, oh, the butterfly banners I'm seeing. I don't know if she oh, has oh, a shield. Yeah, uh, she, I don't know if she's got a shield with it, but uh, the uh, butterflies were courtesy of my shop. Uh, <laughs> Going to put a shameless plug in there. 
No problem with that. Oh, yeah, I, oh. I, oh, I guess I could wait. Oh, here we go. I found the last two. Where are they? Uh, well, I've killed them. They were like, oh, go away, Vexes. We're not done yet. Oh, there we go. Down oh, beside yeah. your house. <laughs> right on top of Wicked. Can't fly. Oh. Ow, ow. Yeah, this is the He's, round I usually die. Oh, it's getting on. hairy. It's getting hairy. Boy, I'm up on Wicked's roof with a bow. When I doubt, fly away. Ow. Who He's set me on fire? Wasn't me this time. It wasn't Vexdos. Oh. At least that's the story I'm going with. Hey, you jerk. She's oh, taking out my azaleas. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That's a saddle. Oh, no. <gasps> my, my llama. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that. Oh, no. Okay. No, that wasn't my llama. Did they or still listen to guys, huh? Yeah. They're probably in her house. Got him. You know, I've come over to the uh, trading hall, um, and I, I just, I feel like they are not worshipping me enough. Uh, you know, I've not received much. I, I, I agree with that that sentiment, because I was there the other day when we did the raid, and mm. I did not feel that I was being given the proper respect. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, I, I received, like, a stone axe, a stone shovel, uh, one piece of clay... <laughs> that is all I have actually received from them in, in, in payment for saving their lives. Um, I might have to kill, uh, go and kill the, the ungrateful lot. Oh, I've received a stone hoe as well. It's they, really, really... Uh, they, they really like you. Mm, they clearly do. <laughs> so, that was a raid. I had a lot of fun doing it. And I had so much fun hanging out with Dan and R, Vex and Wicked. Always a pleasure to spend time with other members of the server. And if you enjoyed this video, I recommend you go and check out Vexnos's channel because his recent video included a different raid that occurred in Restarterville, one I wasn't part of, so you won't be watching the same things twice. That's all from me for this week, but thank you very much for watching. I will hopefully see you next time I put out an episode. Thank you very much and have a good day.